So, I have a confession to make. In preparing the end slates for the episodes that I just published, I had to go out and kill a bunch more monsters to actually unlock the second page. And in doing so, I saw some things that I really wish I hadn't seen because now I can't see them blind. Sorry about that. Anyway, greetings and salutations. I'm Ekamak. This is Let's Play Cross Code. Last time, we beat the final boss of the Temple Mine. Thankfully, we don't have to fight all of them as well. And this time, well, we're going to see what's in this final room. And yes! Lee made it to the finish line first! Oh, you're first. You got me this time. I blame those bugs, we. Seriously, what was up with that battle for the Master Key? It's like they designed this dungeon after my worst nightmares. Oh well, I'll get you next time. Hmm, but this is room is strange, non? We didn't expect to see other players within the dungeon. I guess rooms like these are simply not instanced. Anyway, I think we should check out this statue up there. These mountains stood for eons, nearly unchanged. Their frozen crown shimmering in the sun. Among these heights and hurdles, you persevered. Wielding the blazing flames, you cleaved through ice and stone alike. You, the traveller, the envoy of change. You have proven yourself worthy. Take this shade and continue on your journey. Blue ice shade obtained. Let your every step form the path of your growth. Congratulations, Seeker. You reached the first milestone of Operation Trackwalker. With the blue ice shade, you can now access Maroon Valley to the west of Bergen. Therein awaits your next destination, the Fajiro Temple, housing the second element, Cold. To proceed, seek an audience with the Eldress of the local village, Bakali Kum. Baki Kum? Take this a reward for your accomplishments. Circuit Override obtained. The Circuit Override allows you to reset one of your circuit boards. Visit the first basement of the info hub in Rookie Harbor to use it. That is all. Good luck and stay vigilant. Bird people. Bird people in space. So that's the ancients? Fair enough. Alors, do you see those rotating info thingies? I bet the news have all the info about the ancients we need. Don't forget about the quiz. Yeah, and... Thankfully the quiz isn't so bad, you just need to have a quick glimpse and hurt each one. It all started when Diorbus, the eternal god of creation, was born into the emptiness of the void. After pondering for eons in solitude, his desire for company gave birth to the gods of shape. Diaro is one of these gods, the god of the square and the creator of solid surface. Diaro is the creator of solid surface. His powers could form the most majestic mountains and freeze the vastest of seas. Indeed, his creations are enduring and overwhelming sights to behold, yet motionless and without life. Life on Shadun has prospered, and Diorbis felt that our kind was ready to start our journey. Diaro, however, did not agree. He still saw our kind as infants crawling over the majestic surface he created. Diorbis then pointed to Shadun and asked Diaro to watch. Diaro saw how our kind climbed the highest of mountains and reached the very bottom of the sea. Diaro was shocked, yet proud of our achievements. Reluctantly, he agreed that indeed we had been ready to start our journey. Diaro then provided an envelope of solid rock and ice used to send the message of the sky. Enel is a goddess of shape, 
the mistress of the flame and creator of the sun. Yet she was envious of her fellow gods, who created fascinating shapes and worlds full of life and colour. She longed to take part, adding a warming fire to these worlds, but her flame was too mighty and consumed all in its path. It was then when Diaro had a proposal. He shaped a sphere with an empty core and several holes surrounded by high mountains. And El then filled this shape with her flame, creating a world with heated core and life on its surface. Today, every volcano is a record of Enel and Diaro working in union. Alright, just read everything there is. We should head back to this for a Scholar's HQ and take that quiz. And we will, after I just check all this. You find all the treasure chests already. No, still missing one. Yeah, me too. Someone gave me a hint though. There's one chest that will only appear if you do certain things in that room. What kind of things? Dunno, that's all she told me. She didn't want to spoil the whole secret. Meh. Second boss defeat. What did you think? Huge, pretty slow. I love the bomb punching. You know you can throw balls at the bombs, right? I don't throw balls. I punch with an extension of my fist. Sure, whatever you want to call it. I cut things with swords. I like swords. It's you again. Yes, yes you do. It's the guy from the entrance. That was rough. Too many chasms, right? That whole dungeon was one large abyss. The last boss was over a cliff for Pete's sake. Still, you made it. I'm so proud of you. Gee, thank. Well, wait. So, let's collect the shade already. We clearly earned it. Are you kidding? They'll probably do that flint space thing again. Can't take that right now, please. Oh, come on. I can't tell whether I'm getting those voices mixed up or not. I'm pretty sure those are the people from um, the tutorial island that were having trouble with the uh, sky thing. Water. Frozen water. Solid as rock, smooth as silk. And slippery. Way too slippery. And uh, I'm going to have a look at these once more and then go straight to Forest Scholars HQ because I want to get this right, don't I? Yarrow's solid surface, mountains and trees, Diorbis. Hmm. If I was smart, I'd just write all of this down. But, yeah. Ah, finally outside. It's just way too gloomy in those dungeons. ideas. So how about it? Did you complete the temple mine? V, we did indeed. Wonderful. So are you ready to take the quiz? Yes, I'm ready. How about you, Lee? Take the quiz. Very well. We'll hold the quiz over there in the seminar room. And of course you'll be tested separately. Who wants to go first? Oh, I'm going f I'm fine with going her first. Is that okay, Lee? Alright, I'll get the others. Hey Lee, I see you're about to take that quiz to join this guild, right? So I was thinking, would it not be challenging to answer the questions with your current vocabulary? You killed the music. <laughs> uh, I don't think Lee considered that. So you forgot about that, hum? Look, it's okay Lee. I would have found out about your speech malfunction sooner or later anyway. Just remember, these kinds of things happen to players. I just hope you'll be able to take the quiz somehow. Lee, I did it! I passed! Come on, you're next. What's wrong? You look really nervous. Don't worry, the quiz is super simple. I'm sure you can do it. Lee, dear, now it's your turn. 
I hope you read all those text tables next to the statue in the temple mine. Today's quiz is all about the duke god Diaro. Don't worry, it'll just be four simple questions. Are you ready? Alrighty. First question. Now, Diaro is one of the gods of shape. Now, what shape did he represent? Oh dear. Lee. Um, yes. Lee, dear, that's your name. Should should I repeat the question? What shape does Diaro represent? Lee. Lee, is everything alright? No, something's wrong here. I sort of noticed it before. Lee, you can't really speak, can you? Oh dear! Is it a speech module malfunction? Oh, Junge, I thought they've managed to fix those issues. I mean, it's sort of weird that you can still say those few words. Do they add some sort of word around? I can't believe it. How did I not notice this before? Lee, dear, I'm so sorry. Well, still, that's no reason to cancel the quiz. Easy. We'll just make it multiple choice. Lee, dear, I'm, still, you can, I'm sure you can still count with your fingers, right? Wonderful. Well then, all I have to do is give you four options, eh? Okay, let me think. Here we go. What shape does Diaro represent? A. Square. B. Triangle. C. Pentagon. D. Sphere. Uh, this one was square. Alright. Next question. Diaro is known as the creator of solid surface. So what exactly did Diaro create? A. Mountains. B. Plants. C. Animals. Or D. The Sun. That was the mountains. Good! So, what was next? Ah yes! There was this time Enel and Diaro worked together, eh? What did they create? A. Waterfalls, B. Volcanoes, C. Black Holes, or D. Uh... Cream Puffs! <laughs> really, Buggy? Don't make it too easy for her! Well, I suppose it's clear that option D is not correct anyway. Well then, Lee, what did Danelle and Diaro create together? It was definitely volcanoes! <laughs> well, come on, dear! Please be serious! Well, I will count that as the wrong answer. Final question. Remember when Diorbison tried to convince Diaro that the ancients are ready for their journey? He showed him one of the ancients' achievements. What was it? A. They built huge cities. B. They traveled through the air. C. They reached the highest mountain. Or D. They tamed the wildest animals. That one was C. Wonderful! Alright, that's it. The quiz is over. And... You passed! Grats! Congratulations. Not bad. Well, you got one answer wrong. But we can sweep that under the rug, eh? It was totally worth it for that smug... Yes, yes, that's a all about Diaro. Ah, wait, I can think I have a small bonus question for you, Lee. Diaro is a god of square and representing the shape, and is a god of shape representing the square. So which class has been founded to honor Diaro? A. Triblader. B. Quadrigard. C. Pentafist. Or D. Hexacast. Well, if he's a square, then it's the quad. So it's your class. Correct! Quadrigard is the class of the square, and yes, that's my class. Just like Diaro's creations, Quadrigards are known for their stamina and endurance. That's why we're the traditional tanks in your party. Well then, it's time to make you and Emily the official members of the First Scholars. Let's go! It is my greatest pleasure to announce two new members of the First Scholars. Emilia Nata the Pentifist and Lee the Spheromancer. Let's work together to contribute our understanding of the ancients. And you know, just have a good time, eh? Merci, Gopuko. It's great to. Buko. Buko. I don't speak French. It's great to join you guys. So I suppose we'll see each other more often from now on. That's right, so you should join our party already. Well, I think you need to catch up to my level first. Oh, come on. Anybody else, maybe? 
Well, most of us are far ahead in levels. Oh, but there's still Tronny! Oh, the other new member? Yes, he hasn't been here online the last few days, but he told me he'd show up again tomorrow. I'm sure he'd gladly join your party. Tres bien! Well then. Pardon everyone, I really have to log off now. You know, we just rushed the whole temple mine and did that quiz in one session. I'm currently seeing the sun rising. I really should try to get some sleep. Ah yes, real life is calling. Well then, good night, Emily. And I hope to see you again soon. Of course, au revoir everyone! And Lee, don't forget about the next dungeon! You know how it goes, V. No starting without me. Bye! Bye bye. Lee dear, do you plan to log out as well? Yes, yes we should. Alrighty. Sorry about your speech module issue, dear. But I want you to know, this doesn't really matter to us. You're a member of the First Scholars, you're always welcome. And if you have any problems whatsoever, we're here to help. That's right, I'm sure things will work out just fine. Bye! Bye. Goodbye, dear. Chaw. I'm honestly relieved. You're lucky to have found such a nice guild. Well, I'll look you out now. Good night, Lee. Bye! Uh, did Lee just talk to somebody? Penguins on mountains, I'm not kidding. I know, they had plenty of strange ideas. Apparently that's what people like these days. <laughs> yeah. I know, it can be a tad lonely. But it's a small price to pay. After all, we're about to revolutionize the entire field. I'm just glad we found someone who embraces the potential. I'm really looking forward to an explanation for all this. Good morning, Lee. Doing fine? So, I was wondering, do you see anything when you're offline? You know, like dreams? Oh, did you see anything new that didn't happen recently? Great, that means your memory really is returning. So, is there anything you can clearly remember? Okay, I'm sure it'll take some time. But it's good to know we're making progress. Oh, by the way, I managed to add a couple of new words. Oh! Oh, 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 I like this. Alright, time for word count, word count plus plus. New word embedded. Why? New word embedded how? How? Why? Hi! So yes, I'm working on adding all those question words. Why? Well, because you ask basic questions that way, correct? Why? Because you need question words to ask questions. Why? I regret adding this word already. Anyway, your next destination is Marone Valley. You get there by going west from Bergen. Unfortunately, it seems that Emily is offline at the moment. I'm sure she'll show up sooner or later. Well, maybe I shouldn't have gone straight to the First Scholars because right now we're not actually going to Maroon Valley. We're going to work on quests and maybe shooting this... Yeah, we're going to be working on quests because I'm almost certain that when we go here there's going to be four new quests from everyone. Yeah. 
No, I mean, I'm definitely glutting. not doing that, but... Okay, actually, I want to check something. Yeah, I can't invite her. I've never actually tried talking with the others. Hi! Good morning! You, you're online again, I see. When you logged in, you probably ended up in the empty headquarters, eh? Everybody is busy with other things right now, it seems. But you can still contact everyone with direct links if you have any questions or need help. Uh, what do you have to say? Hi! Good day. Is something the matter? Right, you can't speak properly. So why would you contact me? Are you by chance wondering about my nickname? Yes, it's Beowulf. You might have noticed nobody calls me that. But I think they find the name cheesy. It's the name of an old legendary hero. But it seems it's rather overused. What a shame. Probably should have gone with something simple like your name. Um... I think maybe if I push for... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and push further in the story. Uh, hello? Hi! Hi? Uh, hello, hello! Sorry, just went blank for a second. I'm Citron, the other member of the First Scholars. Lin just gave me your contact and told me to say hello. So, nice to meet you. Uh, don't worry, they told me about your limited speech problem. But yeah, we seem about the same level. So, I could join your party, right? Anyway, I'm still busy today. But if you don't mind, I'd gladly join tomorrow. Would that be okay? Okie dokie. Well, see you tomorrow then, Lee. Bye! Oh, looks like you might soon have a party of three. Very nice. That boy seems to be a hexacast. They're very useful to have in a party. I feel like if I push far enough in the story, I'll get Emily back, and then I can go come back and do quests. But, actually, that reminds me. Yes, you might remember from when we first had this circuit. The, the, all the circuits were blocked off at this third point. Getting the blue ice shade unlocks them. Uh, actually, I should probably buy something, shouldn't I? Yeah. And something for the fire circuit. Hmm. You know what? More HP. Because more HP means more regeneration. We have a new area, don't we? We go from the icy mountains to the... Hello human, you're puzzled. You entered Maroon Valley, hot sandy desert and home of us Chad. All humans welcome. You should visit Bucky Coom, bustling hometown of Shad. Has big bazaar with great offers. Human want to know more? Talk to me. Bonjour, Lee! Hi! Say, are you currently free? I'd really like to join your party right now, if you are okay with that. Trust bien! Did you just enter Maroon Valley by any chance? Okay, I'll be there in a second. Thanks for waiting. Did that birdman over there talk to you as well? He does that with any new player that stands around for too long gone. 
Though I was surprised to meet a non-human race character after all. Anyway, we should head to Baki Kum, right? Sounds like the next big town. Well then, off we go. Uh, actually, looking at the time, it might be a good idea to stop the episode here. After I talk with all these traders. Materials. Sets. Food. Metal. Sandwiches. Weapons. And yes. So, next time on CrossCode, we're going back to the cold so we can do those quests. Until then, guys, take care. I'll see you around.